Yeah, yeah, yeah. What up, man? Make sure you hit the like button or the dislike button, notification bell, PayPal, and the cash app. <laughs> Y'all ain't know what time it is, baby. Get ready for that content. Sway! He was taking me in. They put, they, they had one officer right here, one officer right here, and they took a picture in front of the police station. And I'm like, what? What the fuck? So then I look and I see that picture. At that time, I was like, wow, look at this. The police have to make it look like they're protecting the people and they want to put that image out. And I and I totally get it. You know what I'm saying? They, but, but it wasn't true and nobody cared about true justice. I just heard about giving a hold on one sec. I just came across a comment. So people are asking, um, so while this is going on, like why didn't you record or something? Like while all of this is happening. If I'm in police custody, they have your phones, they have everything. Like I'm not how can I record while they're doing this? They have me in custody. They look, first of all, the haters sent a whole bunch of stuff like they sent to y'all, right? And of course the police run down on you. But in these countries, they don't do investigation. They take you, bro. Like this is a, these are third world countries, so they just right. take you. You know what I'm saying? So I was locked up for three weeks during the investigation, and they didn't come up with nothing, and they just deported me back because they didn't want to send me back with the accusations that was on me. They didn't want to send me back into the public because the police couldn't do that. They couldn't send me back. Supposedly deported me. You understand what I'm saying to you? Yeah. So when when the haters send these stuff to the, to the locals, right? They send, they send the stuff to the locals. The locals call the police. The police do their job as far as protecting and serving the people, right? So they get the bad guy. Let's get the bad guy. Put him on Put him on the paper, right? Put him on the paper. So it looks like we're protecting the people politically. And then the people are like, yeah, we got them. And it's like, dude, I didn't do anything. And they don't have anything on us. Because if they did, they would lock me up. So how am I free? So how am I free? So this is what they're doing, bro. They're doing so that when the people say, yo, who is he? Now, in the States, in the States, the United States, when you call somebody, they do an investigation. That's the difference. They do an investigation as far as come out, make sure the kid's okay, make sure. But not these third world countries like Panama, uh, um, like uh, like like um, Mexico. Not, not Mexico didn't do that. Mexico act like the United States. But in Nicaragua? Oh, yeah, they came out with guns. Panama came out with guns. Get on the ground. I'm like, bro, relax. Yeah. So back to the video. So is that, when was that video made? That video was made like six years ago. Mm. And then that was supposed to be dealt with. It was supposedly dealt with. Everybody knows that follows me. Hey, watch this. Put one in the building if you know I'm not a pedophile and you've been following me for years. And you've been, I go live every day. People know my family. We watch, they see real nigga moments. We, we, they know my family. My followers know. Press one if you know I'm not a fucking pedophile, bro. Like, straight up. And, and, and the only thing about it is, like, yo, people have watched the whole thing. Everybody have watched the whole thing. You feel what I'm saying? So you have to see both sides of the story to understand what's going on. You understand what I'm saying? Because everybody's watching and they see that I'm getting done dirty. Right. So police have come and investigated me. People have falsely accused me of having warrants, being a pedophile, having charges, and I get out and I get out. In front of the whole world, I got out of prison. I got out of jail. Cause I cause they investigated and it was nothing wrong with me. So at the end of the day, the whole world knows I'm innocent. Everybody watching me knows I'm innocent. They know that they're taking clips of something old and bringing old stuff together that they did themselves. This is stuff that people have, these people have done themselves. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. These people, these people have done this stuff themselves and they send the clips of the stuff that they've done to the next place we're at. They're like, oh yeah, he's, he's done this. Look at what he's done. And now they're trying that shit in Hawaii now to try to scare the people of Hawaii so that the people of Hawaii can be like, call the police and do the same thing. And the police have to what? Have to look like the hero for the people getting the pedophile out. But they never come up with no solid evidence that I'm a pedophile. Because if I was a pedophile, you have to lock me up. Or if anything is wrong, if I did anything wrong, I would be locked up. So if you can find, if I've been, if I got, if I got uh, kicked out 
out of this country, that country, this country. Why am I in a, why, why am I not in jail? Why am I not in jail? Because I've done nothing wrong. They just deported me because they couldn't let me back out to the public because they wanted to look good for the people. And so this just keep happening to me and it's making me look like I'm crazy, but I'm not. I think from what you it's just like we we heard there is just you guys are posted up at Carl Smith. Everybody was like, Who are these people? We Google you guys, we watch your guys' videos and it's just like we just needed like further context because it's just it's not it's not a it's not a normal so it's just something new for us. So we just wanted like maybe just more context is needed, like well, all just you have to do more is explaining it's a lot of context, it's a lot of our own context. People are looking, people are surface dwellers, they try to find instant gratification. You think, you, you're looking at me instantly. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not, you, if you look on my page, you would know what I'm about. Simple. Right. But you're looking at what they're saying, and you have to look at what we're about. We have our stuff publicly, everything is public, our music, everything we stand for is all there. It's not rocket science. We have a YouTube, we have music, we have a whole thing. Everything is public. But people just look at the negative and take that and be like, that's what it is. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. I get that. And that's not fair because we, we do have content on our page. Plenty of content. But people want to people want to see what's behind that. Or they're lying. Or this this can't be what they this is what they put out, but this is what's behind the scenes. And they want to take that and be like, oh, yeah, this is what they're hiding. Yeah, this is who they are. Yeah, let's 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 make this what's real. No, bro, that's not fair. That's not fair. All right. That was a lot. Let me see. I want to wait people to come up here. That's why, because I feel like they really should hear yeah, all these people that's making false accusations. They should come up here and, like you, have a hard enough to talk. To Right. And just like so they have the they have kind of an understanding of what's going on. Like I personally don't agree with everything, but I don't feel like what media is posting about you and the allegations is as it seems. I just feel like there should be context and I feel like people should hear it. You know what I mean? Right. Especially us in Hawaii, because we're all we all we are is we are concerned. Like that's all it is. Yeah, that, Especially that, with everything cool. already happening in Hawaii. Yeah. Right, and that's why um, I'm I'm uh, I'm here. That's why I'm here to talk to y'all. Like I'm here to talk to you, let you know it's not that vibe at all. Like what pedophile, what criminal gets on my and talks to the people? Like I'm trying to understand. Like what's up? Like I want y'all to talk to me. Like what's good? But people are not ready for that. They're ready for me to be a pedophile. They're ready for me to be some crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, so and I, I just, I just, I'm glad that you're a leader. I'm glad that you're a leader, and you're not someone that's a follower. Like seriously, like you, right. people like you, we need put more people like you that think for themselves rather than what people tell them. You did your own investigation. That's why you're always gonna find truth because you did your own investigation. But just imagine how many people just looked on a survey like, oh, that's what happens. Oh, we gotta call the cops. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, like, y'all people are just surface dwellers and just people that don't think for yourself. You're not leaders. But right. people that are leaders go find out the truth. You know what I'm saying? Point blank, period. And then you have mean people. You see all these mean people in the room like there's mean people? No way. Right. Like, I wanna, I'm going to address something real fast, too. I just want to tell you guys on this live that I'm not. I can have my own opinion, but we don't have to, we don't have to be beefing on a live. We can have a conversation. Like, that's what people don't understand. Like, if I wanted answers, that's why I'm here. And that's why I'm using my platform so that the rest of Hawaii can tune in and we can have the answers that we want. Like, you guys are all over here, like, hating and shit, being like, oh, she's being disrespectful. Oh, she's falling for it. Da, 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 da. And it's like, no, I can form my own opinion. Like, whatever he's saying, I'm giving him a chance to speak is what I'm doing. Other than what everybody else did, everybody else is just posting allegations from what is already online and his videos. But you guys didn't take the time to actually go in and see what the fuck is, like, what, my bad, my language, yeah, what is I'm actually going, going on in here. Channel. Because it's really, like... In any situation, you need to, you need to, it's important to know how to communicate and how to hold yourself up they to. They would rather the government go do it 
and then tell them what happened. Because oh, they're right. government people. They, right, they don't right. want people to- rather call the cops because of, oh, this is posted and this was posted. But it's like, okay, but you didn't go into it. You just saw on social media, somebody posted, oh, there's a quote, there's a this, there's a that. And it's like, okay, well, like, where's the credibility? Where's the facts? Where's this? Where's that? So I did my little research that I did, and then I saw you on live, and I was like, damn, well, what's what's better than to confront this guy on the live on a platform where other Hawaii people can tune in and we can ask questions too, you know what I mean? So it's like, right. this live has nothing to do with hate. It has nothing to do with falling for it, whatever. This is a chance for both sides to speak up. So right. that's, that's all it is. That's real. That's what the people are for. The people are supposed to be for the people. We're yeah. in that age now where we don't have to call the government to handle our issues. Bro, if we people come to me straight up, why? Right. I'm, I'm a black man. I know you're scared of me, but she's the bravest of all y'all. She comes on live and directly looks me in my face and says, what's wrong? I, oh, it took a female, a strong, it, it, like mature person that was like, yo, I'm not going to just take what people tell me. I'm going to find out the truth and then be a, that's a leader, bro. You a leader of your people. I just want you to know that, bro. You're a leader, bro. And never stop doing that. And don't just take things for face value. Like look into them first before you make judgments on people. You know what I'm saying? Right. That, shows, that, that shows your heart, and I'm glad that there's people like you out here, bro. Like, that shit is crazy. Yeah, there's, there's probably men watching that wouldn't even do what you're doing. Right? No, yeah, and then there's just people in the comments saying shit, and it's like, dude, did you, do you know the facts? Did you guys do your research? You know sure, like, exactly. you really, though? Like, you guys are just saying shit out of your ass. I see, I see y'all from fucking Hawaii. Like, did y'all do your fucking facts? Like, did you do your research? Did you look for the facts? No. Like, you guys are just straight saying shit on here. Like, if you have questions, say it right now and address it. Don't fucking throw hate on here right now. This is a platform where we can fucking talk and communicate about what's going on right now and what's being right. said and online. Deal with it without, the, without involving the government. They love the government. They love the government. They trust the government. And the government keeps, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah, I trust the government. I, I'll just call the police, have them deal with it, and let them report it to us of what's going on. Here you are. You can talk to the person yourself. You don't have to look at TV to find out what happened with me. You can talk to me yourself so that right. the TV can't lie to you, so that the newspaper don't lie to you, so that the Internet doesn't lie to you. You can talk to me yourself, straight like right. that, straight back. And I respect you. I straight up respect you. I don't know what your name is, but you don't. You're dope as a human being. As a human being. And it's a human being. I'm I'm from Hawaii too, so. I'm just hoping more people freaking come on here. You're the hero. I'm Hawaii, so they can look up to you. Even the men have to look up to you because they were even nervous to even come on live with me. But it took you, someone to have heart, to even come. Because it's scary to come on live with people. You know what I mean? So you're a leader, bro. What's your name again? Sean. You can call me Sean. Charge, yeah. Charge. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you hit me up in the inbox, and I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate you doing your research, because you did your research. And I, like, you was one of the few people that was like, oh, dude, I, I get it. Like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and you told me about another page or something. I forget. Yeah. Appreciate that. I appreciate yeah, that. Well, that's all I had to say, you know. Just just a platform to communicate and get it some kind of understanding. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's okay. Alright. Take it easy. Nah, well she's 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 dope. She's a leader. She's y'all leader. She's a hero. Like y'all should y'all should like be more like her. She's showing you how to be. You rather run to the police and ask the police to do what you should do as a people. You can say, Oh, he's lying. That's how y'all choose to deal with things, bro. There, there has to be more smarter people here, you know? And she was one of them. I respect her. I'm trying to find people from Hawaii. Oh, I'm trying to find people from Hawaii. Let me talk to the people from Hawaii, bro. Oh, no, go ahead, go ahead. You're good, you're good. Yeah, I'm trying to find people from Hawaii to talk to me, man. Yo, bro. What's going on, bro? Now, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Why 
why why Hawaii? Like I ain't got no problem with you or anything. Cause I'm not gonna assume anything, but why Hawaii? Hawaii is the dopest place on the planet. Cause of the nature. Why not Hawaii? That's the question. Why not Hawaii, bro? You know what I'm saying? Hawaii is the dopest place on the planet, true or false? It's got the best people, I can tell you that. The best people they lay like from what I've seen, they lay back, they cool, they don't they don't discriminate against black people here. I feel that police and the people here don't discriminate against black people. Now I'm not talking about the battle line here, but I feel like the police and the people love they accept black people. Yeah. That's why I'm here. And we're going through a lot in America right now, as you can see. So I came here for peace. Yeah. Cause people just assume shit like just because they're black or whatever, they just assume that they're criminal or whatever. And I wasn't raised up like that. Right. It seemed like I was, you got to be really close to the land, and I, I feel like I did my research, and everybody black here says it's not like that here. Like people don't like discriminate because you because you black. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah. I do know that there are those that do because we look different, and I know that the media. What's in the people mind that black people can be criminals? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and black men are um, are dangerous. So innately, people like, even though they might be cool with you, they can think that you can easily do crime. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate you. Also, was calling in, bro. Let's take heart, for real. Because my parents, I'm only, I just made 17 yesterday. And my parents taught me. Happy birthday. Thank you. My parents uh, taught me to respect everybody, no matter gender, whatever, no matter. Right. But people are different, and people look at each other as different, you know. That's how, we, that's how we've been trained to look at things. Yeah. Right? You see something different, then you treat it different sometimes. That's everybody just, that's just nature. Everybody was raised up different. Yeah. But I just heard there's not much as prejudice here, and I told people... I want black people to know, like, yo, who told Hawaii? Hawaii's dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, ain't, we don't gotta get killed for the street because we're black. Yeah. We get killed just because we're black. <laughs> Obviously, you can see that. It's all over the internet. You see how they do us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so, I just feel like it's way laid back here. As long as you're not causing no trouble, and you ain't coming here on no dumb shit, you could really live life in harmony. Peace. That's all we're looking for, bro. That's all we came here to do. So the people just jump to conclusions too fast. Yeah, that's why I'm here to explain to them. So they don't have to call the police. You can talk to me. You're the police. You are your own police. Police your own neighborhood, bro. Talk to the people. Yeah. Go directly to the people. Like, I understand that you call the police when you feel that there's danger. But I want you to know, like, there's no danger here. And you can talk to me. You can call me. You can contact me directly. If there's a yeah. problem, you know what I mean? You can call my Instagram and be like, yo, is that true? Like, are you a, are you good? Like who are you? Like da 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 da. We're human. Like talk to yeah. me. You don't have to send police. You don't have to. Do that. You can talk to me as a human being. Yeah. I like to find out who the person is before I judge them. Right. So like, you guys get to know me personally, and that because the police can put anything in the media as they have before, and it's happened to me over and over again. So this time I said, no, I'm going to open myself up to the people and so they can talk to me and get to know me directly. So if anything ever even happens, y'all could be like, yo, we talked to him. Like, he was cool. Like, he was good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. People, people depend on the government so much where they could just do it themselves. We have the internet. Here it is. Talk to me. Yeah. You feel me? But I mean, when has the government ever helped us? So. Right. Exactly. They ain't really help us. It's honorable for me to get on live and open myself to you to talk to me directly. Talk to me. Come into my come into my space and talk to me directly. They treat me like a human being, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like talk to me like yo, we heard this shit, what's going on? Well, this is the, this is what happened. Blah 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 blah. There's a video that shows the full coverage of what happened. That's good. Because I know I'm innocent and I know that I have nothing to hide. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm directly coming to you. Now, and now if I was a criminal, I wouldn't be on live with y'all. I wouldn't be talking yeah. to you. Know? I'd be hiding. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I just want to let y'all know it ain't that kind of party over here with carbonation. I'm going to kill a noise right now. No matter what rumors you hear me, I have a, I have a little bit of people that hate me. It's a little small group that hate me. 
and they do a lot. Okay? And that's just in life. Anything you do is successful in life, people are going to hate you. So, but it's a lot of people that love us, you know what I'm saying, and that support us, that's been rocking with us over the time. And they might not even fuck with us, they might not even agree with everything that we talk about, but at the end of the day, they know that we're innocent. They know that we ain't did nothing illegal, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it ain't, it, that's not right. Like, I might not like you, I might not like what you say, but I ain't gonna falsely accuse you of some shit. That's not all of them. you yeah. know what I'm saying? And, we, and when you know, because we got locked up before, the people have been watching our whole story. So everything that people see online, they've been watching the whole story, right? So now that we're here in Hawaii, they see the trolls setting up the same operation that they did before. You have to speak up at this point. The people have to speak up at this point. So do what's right. If you see something wrong and they're being falsely accused, you have to. You have a moral responsibility to speak up. Yeah. You don't have to like me. I'm a human, and that's it. You don't have to like what I teach. You don't have to like nothing. If you see something you've done wrong, I don't care. I don't like this guy, but that's wrong. That is wrong. I don't like that. What's wrong is wrong. I don't like it. It should be just like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People been watching us. They seen what's happened to us, bro. Oh, fuck you. Thanks for calling in, girl. For real. Happy birthday again, man. Thank you. Peace, God. Peace. So we're getting we're, we're getting bullied, and we just want people to, um, you know what I'm saying, and just just call in and know the truth, bro. Know the fucking truth. Bro. Don't let nobody lie to you, bro. Like, and stop going to the government every time for what you need to be done, man. Like, y'all niggas pull up, pull up on a nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? Police your own neighborhood, shit. Like, stop trying to let like, the government run shit for you, bro. This is. It's not that kind of age. I gotta stand up. The youth is here. Peace. How you doing? Hi. Me? How are you? I'm good. You? I'm well. I've just been watching. Um. Oh, wait, wait, shush. Sorry, my dog is acting up. I've been watching um shit pop off on Big Island News and uh, Pop Alert. And so, you know, I get stoned and I go down the rabbit hole at night and do a little research on y'all. And um. It's <laughs> a rabbit hole. Uh, I had to just, I just started jotting down questions as I'm watching this live because I don't have, like, I'm going to go ahead and say it and all the haters are going to hate. I'm probably going to have to change my Instagram name. But I, I, I watched your videos um, from a devil's advocate perspective as far as the things that people were attacking. And I understand your standpoint of not, um, I feel like this pedophile stream kind of came from where you spoke out about. Uh, not making your people in your life ashamed of nudity, which I can understand. Now, what you got to understand and be smart about is putting that shit out there in public, being walking around naked in front of kids. People are going to twist that shit and make it look like you're some kind of some kind of sex predator, okay? So I can understand from a devil's advocate. I don't know you personally, so I don't know what kind of weirdo shit people are doing, but just from what you stated there, like, you put, you set yourself up for, you know, for a yeah, yeah, I, I you know, I'm in front of, I'm walking around in front of, I get it, like, that. why should we be ashamed of our nakedness, that's how we were born, however, you're definitely setting yourself up for a little sharing bit of, too much. Uh, of, hey, what's that? Share, it's called oversharing. You over, you overshare a little bit there, my dude, and yeah, it caused, yeah, I, I totally get it. I and you know, know, like you got I understand, ago, I understand, like not yeah. No, there's no reason we should be ashamed of our nakedness. But if you out there walking around naked in front of kids, you got to understand you're going to be exposing yourself to be hated on by a group of folks. Um, I I just wrote down shit because I'm really genuinely curious about y'all. So I really so I did a little bit of research and there was like y'all used to be melanation, but now you're carbonation, and you were something else before that. I, I'm interested in knowing what. Um, what inspires you to to deviate and create your own little like group of people doing your thing? Well, it started off with protesting. You know, like black people getting done dirty in, in the states and um, okay. and I just thought that the best thing for us to do is just go do our own thing. Instead of okay. asking and somebody so, for equal rights. Instead of asking someone Well, I think that's a very different feel like we're all different. Okay, you hear me? No, go ahead. All right. Instead of asking for equal rights, that we group up and bring our resources together and do our own thing and leave the system that keeps killing us. Simple. That's that was the original thing. Like, look, man, we don't have to protest. All we have to do is leave. We don't have to support the system. We could just go do our own thing and live off the grid. You feel what 
what I'm saying? And so yeah, that's yeah, what no, I know what you're saying. I grew up off the grid. I have another question because there's a lot of rumors out there, okay? So I read shit that you guys, so you're a uh, that. That shit keep messing up the comments, man. Group. Is this true? Well, we were, at one point, we was vegan, and then we, 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 we added fish to our diet. You know? So more like pescatarian? Okay. Yeah. What is this shit that I hear about? And I know this is another thing you guys are getting attacked about. What is this shit I hear about people having to poop at the bottom of trees? Talk to me about this. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just letting you know what I'm seeing, and I got questions. What is this about? People having to poop on the bottom of trees. It says that, it says online, there's a lady who did an article that says, you don't believe in eating animal flesh, and everybody in your group is required to poop at the bottom of a tree. I read that on the internet. Oh, wow, bro. <laughs> Hell no. We, have, we like to be, listen, we don't, we don't like the sewage. We don't support the sewage. Uh, yo, that's so funny. Yo, I'm asking. I'm here to ask questions. All right, so we don't support the this, this sewage uh, company because it destroys nature. And we believe that we should have... Are like you talking about the ones that just dump shit like straight into the ocean or are not? Yeah, like most, most city lines, most city sewer lines are harming nature. And so basically when you flush your toilet, you're part of harming nature. So people don't really realize it, so we just bringing that to people to notice that the sewage system is poisoning nature. It's a part of hurt, harm in nature. So we were talking about having more of a, um, a septic tank or that gives back to the earth. More like that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, and something that's sustainable. I understand that's about something, it. Yeah, I sustainable. Like that's it. That's about it. Sustainability. So that. People take it extreme. People take it to the extreme. They, they, and they'll take that and be like, oh yeah, they do. Listen, we just don't believe in the plumbing system. That, okay. that kills well, How about an irresponsible plumbing system? Uh, a non sustainable plumbing system. We're talking about, plumbing plumbing talking about where we come from, the city line plumbing system. Yeah, okay. City okay. line plumbing system. Where are you from? I got that. I have that well, question. We're from out New York, Atlanta, um, all over the United States. We came together online and we brought our. How did you meet? Team. How did you meet your people? Like, how did you on, get on Instagram, Instagram? On Instagram. Okay. Everybody on the internet. And I know, I read somewhere that you believe that living in the tropics is the appropriate place to live. Is that true? Right, for all human beings. I believe that we need sunlight because the sun is the source of our life. It's the source I feel of that, everything. man. I moved here from Alaska, so I feel that. That's why yeah. I came here. What are your intentions with Hawaii? People want to know. Are you here visiting? Are you here? Are you no, I'm here to, to live. live. I'm here to live in tune with nature. I'm here to be a human being. I'm here to live in a tropical environment so I can have the proper amount of sunlight, proper clean water. I'm here to have life. I'm here to live my life, eat fresh fruit, eat fresh food, fish, and eat my stuff fresh. I want a better quality of life. That's, that's, that's why well, everybody, here. everybody gonna want that. Um, you do understand. I mean, you're coming to a, you're coming to a small island, and there's gonna be a lot of criticism. And I saw some videos about you guys, like, and I watched the whole video. I didn't just watch like where the the whole new was floating around. I watched people say, "No, y'all are, are not allowed to." touch that and I saw people in the video respecting that and I do think it's going to be important as it was important for me coming here like you really need to you know watch your P's and Q's and don't be doing and anything we didn't, we didn't know we didn't know we didn't at the end of the day we don't we not here for no trouble no I, I can see that because as soon as somebody says you're not supposed to touch the, the turtle I saw it repeated I could hear it repeated in the video no you're not supposed to touch that somebody say you're not supposed to touch that and I understand being uh, naive and not understanding the rules, you're going to be fascinated, you're going to want to get close, take pictures, but I mean, I definitely would encourage you guys, if you have any plans of long-term existence here, to kind of, you know, read up and act right, you know. Yeah, no, 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 here's the thing, is like, no one did anything intentionally to hurt. No, I know, I can see it, it was just fascination. It was yeah, like, oh, it's hurt when, we, when we knew, like, okay, we're not supposed to do that, we didn't do it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so what is this? I got questions because there's a lot of rumors about you being this chick um, right here, man. extradited or deported from other um, past. Can you speak to what activities or what events went down that you were required to leave South America? She's I right, though. Panama. Educate yourself on the laws, yeah, like she is right about that. I didn't take my notes properly, but what happened that you and your group were forcibly arrested? The only thing that's happened here, the only thing it was a Spanish country. And we didn't speak Spanish. So What's happening here? Same thing. The, the rumors are being put out to the people. The people call the cops. Now, when you say someone's a pedophile, whether they're not a pedophile or not, I'm a black man. We're a group of black people. So people automatically did not, they could not release us back to the public. So 
so they deported us. They couldn't find nothing on us. We was innocent, but they just deported us. We well, they had to. They had to have found something, dude. If you got they didn't find out. anything, what I'm telling you, what I'm telling you is, no one ever. If they found something, I would be in jail. Okay. They would deport me, and I would have been in prison, right? I don't know, right? No, I don't know. No, this right. well, I, mean, I don't know that you're here. You I know they that. had to have found something. So what I'm saying is this: if they find something and you get deported, you're going straight to jail. So the reason that they deported you in Panama was because they didn't like you, and that was enough reason to get you out of there. No, 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 no. The haters that you what's happening in Hawaii right now, right? It happened. Yeah, yeah. You got a lot of skeptics. Like it's kind of sad. I'm not. I'm not sticking up for you because I don't know you. You can be a weird, weird as fuck. I'm just saying. I'm trying to play devil's eye because I have questions, and nobody's making any room for questions. You talk a lot, so when people try to call and talk to you. You you don't leave a lot of room, and then you got all these people with all these uh, texts on the bottom, like filling it up with uh, fruit emojis and smiley emojis, so nobody even has time to have a text conversation. So no, I want to people are being rude. People are being rude. We only put that up when people start being rude. We put I, I, I understand. I understand. Look at the, if you look at the chat, you can see how rude people are being. And when they do that, we put flowers up to protect the subconscious mind. You're not going to be rude to me in my room. And these people are protecting me. And that, the way they can do it is with flowers and hearts. I appreciate that. That's your that's your style. I just I, I think it's I think it's important that you. Uh, you know, made a platform for people to call and talk. Um, I'm definitely more interested in kind of figuring out, like, you know, how y'all's mind work and what you're doing. The biggest fear in the community, I think, for people, I have children, they have children. You know, when I when I saw that shit about, you know, I mean, I, I think it was definitely not in your favor to be like, it's cool if, um, you know, a little dude is grabbing your uh, your, your your penis. and, right, and right, you know, right. Like, that probably wasn't the smartest thing you could have said. I don't know. Right. That's, that's, that's been apologized for. That's been apologized for, and that's been explained. Yeah, no, for sure. I have, I'm just catching up. I'm just catching up because I'm just. This all just happened for me in the past 24 hours. I was talking to my girlfriends about it. I'm like, are you guys following Big Island Thieves? People are blowing up. They said there's a cult here. How do you feel about being called a cult? I'm not a cult. I'm like, you know, it's like it's like a dis. It's like disrespecting a tribe of people. Like calling me a cult is like calling one of the tribes in in Hawaii a cult because they live off and they live differently. There's there's Hawaiian islands that none of no one's been to. And you would call that a cult or would you call those indigenous people that live away? They're a tribe of people that live away. We're a tribe of people, we're a family of people that have maybe different points of view than you, but because it's different points of view, you call us a cult, and that's not fair. That's I not didn't right. call you. I didn't not, call not, you, not you. I asked how you felt about being not, a Not you, not you, not you. But now, I was I was raised on a community, a religious community. They uh, they wouldn't care to be called a cult either. Now I would say they were a cult, but they didn't harm me in any way. It was very. Uh, I don't care about being called a cult either. I mean, I, I like a culture, a cult, a culture, cult, culture, culture, same thing. Um, what do you describe, how do you describe yourself? How do you uh, describe yourself? How what? How do you describe yourself? Do you describe yourself as a community leader? Are you the leader of this group of people? How do you, Absolutely. How do you, yes, yes, I'm the leader. Yes. Okay, and so, but it's not. You, you call it a community. Do you call it, what do you call what is what is the terminology that you would prefer over a cult? A tribe. Oh, a tribe. A tribe. Okay, because it's so easy for people to say cult. You call yourself anything, but okay, so you prefer. Well, we to be are a culture, right? We have our own culture, right? So yeah, yeah, for you sure. The, you could say the culture is, is a cult. So it has a negative connotation, though. You don't understand, understand that. and that's what I'm, that's what I'm. I was against. raised in a cult. I'm, I'm, I'm against. I'm against the word cult and the context is being used in. But as far as being a culture, yeah, I'm a cult leader in that way. But as far as being in the context of something that's negative or Jim Jones or anything like that, no, that's not what we're about. That's just, that's cool. Whatever. I mean, how are you? Um, how are you? She gonna say whatever. You, then um, get your ass off, then, uh, if weirdo. You said people calling cops on you? Are they coming out there checking on you? Or like, how are this you? This chick, man, some of these people are just you, sad, bro. What's your interaction with the what? authorities on the island of Hawaii so far? Everywhere we go, they pull up on us, they check on us, they make sure that there's nothing going on, and then that's it. That the Hawaiian people are really laid back and cool, they're not as prejudiced. But when people are are being are, feel like they're scared, then they start making things up. But there's nothing going on here. I mean, and I, that's why I opened up this live so that you can 
call and talk to me directly so there's no accusations. You could talk come straight to the horse's mouth and hear it from yourself. So rather than all of this, I think this happened, I think that happened, no, talk directly to me. You know? So, okay, no, I feel you. Um, I'm just, I'm really curious about, like, how much interference from Hawaiian authorities you're dealt with, how you plan to deal with it in the future if you continue to be harassed. Like, you said you want to live here. Like, how you, how you plan I'm, to live I'm not here? Gonna be, I'm not going to be harassed. This is only going to last for a moment, and then I'm going to be left alone. Because is, it usually I, just a, is it usually just a, a temporary thing, like, right when you get Yeah, like, this is, this is what's going to happen, and then when they see that's nothing wrong, they're going to leave me alone. But it's like people really are intrigued more than anything they're intrigued it's like what is this so i want people to get to know us and once people get to know us like people will be talking about something else tomorrow so it's like how do you feel about the quarantine rules have you guys abided by quarantine we have rules to, right we have right to, now we have to we have to are we people have to. check are people checking up on you and making they sure call, that you're like yeah, they check up they call they check they come they check to make sure that we're following the rules i'm on live all day every day i'm right here on live but, but you guys uh, got like a spot that you're gonna be at for an indefinite amount of time. You're gonna make we're buying, your home. Land. we're buying land here. Okay, cool. Yeah. For me as a mother, I saw all this shit going down, and I'm like, I'm about to call this dude, and talk to him because I don't care about all these little yippee yap haters who got shit to say about me being in a cult or calling right. me Karen. Fuck you guys. I got questions. <laughs> I'm, I like I'm gonna ask. <laughs> I'm going like to ask that. my fucking questions. So come right. and call me, talk to me, holla at me if you think I'm a Karen, for sure. Um, <laughs> Y'all like Other like than it. that, like, what are I your goals? That. What are your goals? Like, what are your future goals here in Hawaii? Like, what do you plan to contribute to the community? What do you plan to, to Whatever be? I can. Like, whatever help I can. I'm, like, I'm, we're, here to, we're here to protect the land and live life. We're here, we're here to be one with nature and one with the people, the indigenous people of this land. Whatever we can offer, whatever help we can offer, we gonna help. That's it. That's that's what it is. You feel me? That's wherever we go. All right. Well, thank you for um, answering my questions, and you know, right. good luck out here. It hey, I appreciate it. I love not. myself, man. Appreciate it. All right, Alan. Is there any more Hawaiian people that want to talk? Because I see, like, some other people on, that, that are on the um, request. It's like certain people, like, trying to make people not like you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you yeah, don't be his friend. Or this person's doing this or this person's doing that. Bro, like, have your own fucking mind, bro. Have your own mind, bro. Do your own research, my nigga. Like, yo, don't let people dictate to you who to like and who not to like. That's weird. If you don't like me because someone said, yo, don't like him because of this, this, and this, and you're like, yeah, all right, yeah, fuck it, all right, yeah, yeah, we don't like him, we don't like him, yeah, we don't like him, yeah. You don't even know me. You don't even know me. Stop being a follower and be a leader. That's my message. To the people of Hawaii, do not be a fucking follower. Be a leader. Don't be someone that just follows along because the group is saying, yeah. Be a leader, my nigga. Do your own research. Think for yourself. You see what I'm saying? Think for yourself. Don't be weak-minded. Like, you don't like him. I don't like him. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. Like, oh, no, no. Like, you don't even know this nigga. I don't know him. I have to do more research. I have to get to know the guy. He's on live. I can go talk to him. I can go to his inbox. I can conversate with him. I can get to know him as a person to tell you if I don't like him. But if you don't know me and you're just looking at the tabloids and like, oh, this is who he is, or he said this and that, he said, she said, man, I'm right here, man. I'm right here, bro. I'm right here. Talk to me, man. Talk to me, man. What's up? Yo, what's up? Peace, God. How you? I'm good, man. So what's your intention out here in Hawaii? Just to live life, man. I want a better life. You see what they're doing to us in the mainland? I want a better life. You understand what I'm saying? I come here to live in tune with the people, the land, nature. I wanted to have a better uh, better weather, sunlight, 
clean water, clean air, you know what I'm saying, and not have police killing us in the street. I just want peace, God. So why are you in Hawaii? But, like, I don't know. There's a lot of things going on, you know, saying about you guys being out there, being up to no good. So let's get to the bottom of this, you know what I mean? We, we're out here being up to no good. Nah, we just got here. We're not we're not doing anything to harm anybody. Like, we're, we're just here, man. We're just here peacefully. We don't want no trouble, bro. We're not yeah, looking for you know, an issue. Yeah, same here, you know what I mean? We're from here. We don't expect anybody outside to come over here and try to, you know, start some bullshit out here, you know what I mean? We love our people. Yeah. We love our land, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. So Yeah, I want to um, be down with that. I want to be down with y'all. You feel me? That's it. We can we come in peace. We want to be down with the culture of the indigenous people here. I'm not with Babylon. I'm not with the um with the with the Babylon system that came here and stole your land. I'm with the indigenous people. We 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 going through the same struggle. You feel me? We want we all went through the same stuff. You feel me? Like so I'm here with you. I'm here okay, for so what So why Hawaii, but again, sorry, why Hawaii? Because Hawaii is the most beautiful place on the planet. Is it's they live life, the indigenous people live here the way we want to live, the way we were already living. You know, we, we live like Hawaiian people, the indigenous Hawaiian people. Like, I'm a chief. These are my people. We live in tune with nature. We want to live sustainable in nature and live off the off of nature alone and protect it and protect the land and be one with nature. You know what I'm saying? So that's our heart. That's what we want to do. You know what I'm saying? So what is that? What island is that? We don't want to disclose where we at right now because we don't know who's who's who has ill intent upon us. But you feel me? Like I'm pretty sure that like at, at y'all see us around if you see us out after the quarantine. But at, at, as a man, I have to protect me and my family. I don't know what nut, nut ass nigga want to come pull up on me. You feel me? So out of respect, I would like to keep my location to myself. You feel what I'm saying? To protect me and mine. Now, if somebody's trying to approach you, man, they just trying to you know. They're just trying to clear up the air, man. You know because yeah, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. You know what I'm saying? So you know, because people, people be people be putting out a lot of shit about you guys being being up to no good out here. Nah, nah, we just got here. We just got here. You know what I'm saying? First of all, we just got here. So, so you know, we, we, we just we know as people from Hawaii, you know, we just try to protect our own, bro. You know, that's what I mean? a fact. That's a fact. This y'all hood. We came. We coming to check in with y'all. We came in. That's why I'm talking to you. I came in to check in. You feel me? I came in to check in with the people to the hood. We come to check in, you know what I mean, and get y'all and get y'all uh, approval. You feel me? And let y'all know we ain't on no real <laughs> shit. Fuck the, fuck the vibes that you hear, bro. Talk to me. I'm a man. You feel what I'm saying? Like, we oh, that's why. That's that's why I'm here. You know, I just, I, I was trying to get to the bottom of this because seeing all these posts about you guys, you know, you know, it, it gets to us. You know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah, you gotta people. protect yours. You gotta protect yours. This your this this your jungle. This your jungle. This your island. And we come right. respectfully. We come respectfully. We come respectfully. Yeah, you know, I, I hope that, you know, what you're saying is all true, man. You know what I mean? Because we just want to, you know, we just want everybody to come enjoy and not disrespect. We have so much, too much, we have too much shit going on with people coming in and disrespectful. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel, we, I feel we, you. We ain't having that shit. Because As men, we don't go yeah, to people's fact. places. We don't go to people's places and hoods or whatever and disrespect nobody. You That's know? a fact. Because we keep it tight over here. It's all That's about respect. Fact. Please That's learn that. You know what I mean? Please learn that. You know, Hawaii is all about respect. That's what I'm about. And if you don't have that, then, you know, this ain't, this ain't you like can't play. Bro. You ain't gonna make it nowhere if you ain't got respect. You ain't gonna make it nowhere. Yeah, but we keep it tight here, bro. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that's a fact. Like, listen, I keep a tight ship, too. Like, I like I told them, like I told the Hawaiian people that was in the room that's being disrespectful to me. I'm like, look, bro, I ain't do nothing to y'all. I don't know y'all. I come out of respect to, to, to check in with y'all, to tell you that I'm not what people tell me, not, tell me you I am. And at the end of the day, I'm a man. I'm not gonna let y'all disrespect me either. And I mean, I'm not gonna let people just bully me. You feel me? Like I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna become some pushover. Or you're like, oh yeah, he's the pedophile. Like no, nigga. Like that's not who I am. And at the end of the day, I'm here to let you know that I respect you. I come here with the utmost respect to your people, and and I don't want no problem. And I'm not trying to cause no trouble. That's why I'm on live with you, letting you know I'm here to be of help. If y'all need us to rock with y'all, which y'all need, we here. You feel what I'm saying? Whatever y'all need from us. We rock with everybody that got respect. Bottom line, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I said, it, it, it goes back to respect. If you guys ain't got that, then, you know what I'm saying? You know? That's um, all we got, I bet, you, I bet you all, you know, like I said, if you ain't no got respect, that, then I bet you guys be leaving these place because we don't play that shit over here. If any man you know? shit, and any man that allows somebody to come disrespect them ain't a man. So why would, I, I'm a man, so I wouldn't come disrespecting y'all at all because I'm a man because I'm not going to have that either. 
I'm a man. I'm not, I'm, any man supposed to protect his land is protect it and protect his family. You feel me? So if somebody come with disrespect, no doubt. That's why I open my platform so y'all can talk to me directly. So you know my energy is not on that. I'm not on that vibe. I'm, I'm not on that vibe. You feel what I'm saying? All right. So tell me what is this cult all about? It's not a cult. It's a tribe. You know about tribes. We come from tribes, man. Right. So if somebody call your tribe a cult because they live off, they live different. That's your home. You know what I mean? You have your village where you're from. And if they call you a cult, you're going to be offended. So I'm not a, I'm not a cult. I'm a tribe. We a tribe of people. We a group of people that live as a family and we have our own belief system to live in harmony with nature. You feel what I'm saying to you? So that's what we about. We about living in harmony with nature and being one with the earth, one with the planet and teaching other people how to do that. Our people from where we from to teach them that we need to go back to nature. We need to be one with the planet and peacefully live. You feel what I'm saying? And grow our own food and, and be sustainable living with the earth. That's all we teach and that's what we about. We definitely not a cult. You feel me? We are tribe. You feel me? Well, like I said, uh, I just want to tell you, you know, I'm nobody here, but, you know, there's people that you nah, need to talk to. Nah, you are somebody here, man. Like, nah, you, you know, there's people that you need to talk to that's higher than me, which is our, you know, our, our, our older people that, you know, that you need to talk to them. So they have an idea that they will, they will, they will, they will spread the word that you try to be, you know, legit. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Because right now, everybody's all mixed up with this, this, this shit about you guys being here, being up to no good. Yeah, and yeah. There's a lot of angry people about it, you know, so, yeah. you know, we have some kapunas and stuff, which is um, elderly in Hawaii, that you guys need to talk to them and, and, and get these things squared away. Well, because I need to connect with them because I don't know who to go to or I'm checking in. Like, I don't know where to go or who to talk to. That's why I'm on here, you know what I mean? Like, I'm I'm, I'm new here, so I want to come respectfully. I want to know who to check into to be like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Respect. You feel me? Like, and, um, so y'all point me in the direction. Okay, um... Jeez. So how long you guys been here? How, how, how long you guys in Ireland for? You guys we, just got it. we just got here. We just got here. What was it? Three days ago? We just got it three are days you, ago. Are you all planning to live out here? Yeah. What? Yeah, we, we, we plan to get land and, and, and start our village. You know, just, just be here in two and nature and like, you know what I'm saying? And be, be like we're supposed to be. You know what I mean? I'm not coming out here to be a city boy or be hustling or doing nothing like that. We actually coming out here to be at peace, like Rasta. Like like the Rasta man, like just to be, you know, I time living, you know, like just relax and be one with the land, you know what I mean? That's good, man. You know what I mean? Like, because, like I said, you know, ain't gonna lie to you, man. Uh, we got some, you know, a lot of people should stare it up with all these. But I'm glad you're being a leader, though. I'm glad you're being a leader. Like, you're not just going with everybody with what they saying. And that you like, no, nah, I'm not with that. I'm going to go find out who my man is. I'm not like y'all. I'm glad you being a leader. And you're not taking it like, oh, all these people saying this and saying that. They're upset. How are they going to be upset? They don't know me. They could be on the lawn, but men go to men and talk to them. Well, you know, like, hey, like I say, we we, 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 we people from Hawaii. We get upset when some people, we hear something, you know what I mean? No, 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 you can't. You, this, you, can, you, you Real men don't do that. A man did what you did. You came to me and talked to me. But I'm not going to get upset about anything. I'm going to find out what's going on. Men stay like, all right, well, you know what I'm saying? We're going to see what's going on. So let's go see what's going on. So you hit, you talking to me as a man, there's no need to get upset. It's just like, yo, what's going on? I want to know what's going on because I want to protect mine. You know what I mean? Like, And, and that's respect. And, that, and, and that's why we're talking. You feel what I'm saying? But for people to just hear rumors and get upset about rumors, that's not, that's not a man. Men don't get upset about rumors. Men find out what's going on before they have to get upset. Now, if I ain't violating you, you're, nothing that, that you got going on is going to need to get upset. You know what I'm saying to you? That's cool. That's so, cool. Respect. Respect. Yeah. yeah, so I'm not I'm not here for none of that, man. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here. And, I know, and that's why I opened up my platform for people to come talk to me directly. Like, yo, you don't got to call no police. You a man. You call another man to handle your business? No, we men talk to me. So ask me what's going on. Like, yo, what's up? What's going on with all this shit? You know what I mean? So, and then people, you know, don't be a follower. I'm glad, I'm glad that you came on your own instead of being like everybody else. Scared to address me, but go call the cops and talk and have rumors. Men don't do that. Men ain't chatty patty. You address me personally, I respect you for that. Cool, man. Well, um, I just... And I the just first man to do it, too. And the, what's your name? My name is June. You call me Jayden. Yeah. So, That's what it is. Hey, I just hope that, you know, whatever we, we, you say... That is all legit, bro, because... Yeah, it has to be. I'm, going, I'm asking for trouble, and if I'm asking for trouble, I'm going to find it. That's no, I'm just saying, saying, you know what I mean? Just 
just be legit about your business, you know what I mean? Because, yeah. you know, you don't want to you don't want to get into any situations out here, man, for real. Like, nah, that's a fact. I already know that. I'm not looking for no trouble, man. I got, I got, I got my, I got my kids with me, you feel me? I got my, I got my people with me, and we don't want no trouble, bro. This y'all home. We come here to live in tune and watch your graces, you feel me? Well, I'm glad, I'm glad you're here, you know, opening up your platform, trying to get some questions, some answers, you know what I mean? I appreciate yeah. that, man. That's I appreciate that, man. You know, um, I'm sure you know somebody else will be reaching out to you after the CB week, but reaching out to you, so... Hey, I'm done with this. You know what I mean? All about respect, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. Peace. Just keep that respect. All right, That's man. all I ask. Thanks for calling in, man. All right, man. Peace, bro. Peace. That's respect. That's how men do things. This is how men do things. This is how we do things. Men don't call other men to go handle their business. Men handle their business. You call on the cops, you got a man. You call on the cops, you got a man. We can't handle our own business as human beings. What's up? Why y'all call the police? I like June. June a man. June steps to another man like, yo, what's up? Yo, what's going on? It's good. None of that shit out here, nigga. Like, act up. We gonna fuck your ass up, nigga. <laughs> I feel you. June like, yo, act up out here, nigga. We going to tighten you up, nigga. You feel me? Don't come here with no bullshit. Yo, I'm opening up another live part three, yo. Come to the next one. Shout out to June. The pros. People, people, people. people.